In the training area of San Gregorio, Spain, we see the culmination of three demanding weeks of NATO training with an impressive land and air assault on the village of Casas Altas held by enemy forces. Perfectly synchronized and well coordinated between the various units from 13 different nations, the attack featured large-scale movement and mechanized and light infantry soldiers. Backed up by reconnaissance and combat engineer elements, attack and tactical transport helicopters, tanks, artillery guns and fighter jets. With the NATO Secretary General and other alliance and Spanish officials in attendance, the demonstration included a parachute drop by the 82nd Airborne Division involving 550 paratroopers. In Troia, Portugal, another big demonstration, this time of the multinational maritime component participating in exercise training juncture is in the final stages of preparation. The training involves British and Portuguese Marines working cohesively to accomplish their combat tasks and objectives. This portion of the exercise marks the culmination of several well-planned and complex amphibious operations involving sea, aviation, ground and logistics combat elements. And finally, in Capote Iolata, Italy, gunners from American and Italian artillery units trained together, coordinating their missions with precision in order to provide effective fire support to advancing troops on the ground. Arming and firing their howitzer batteries, the mortar crews operate tirelessly to fire and engage their targets and neutralize potential enemy positions in preparation for further tactical assaults and to deny possible exit routes to the opposing forces. Thank <laughs> you.